Cool, but the pressure inside an R22 and the back pressure could be anywhere between like 65, 60 psi, and then on the high side pressure be like. Somebody call Louis the Baller Man. Forget about those cold days. Just take me to the boiler room. All right, guys. Right now we're about to install uh, two new Schrader valves and these access ports. These Schrader valves look something like this. You commonly see them in bikes. And the reason why we replace them is because they tend to leak after a while. So remember, this unit has a high pressure. It is an R22, it's low pressure considering it's R22, but the pressure inside an R22 and the back pressure could be anywhere between like 65, 60 PSI, and then on the high side pressure would be like, two, uh, let's say 200 to 25. So you wanna make sure you replace them. I like to replace them every time we do a compressor change out. So it looks something like this. You need a tool just like this. That's it. It's that easy. All right, it's one. I'm gonna put the next one on the liquid side. And again, guys, when you do this, do it slowly, because what happens is when guys do this in a rush, then it also has happened to me. You might strip. Can somebody call Louis the Baller Man? Forget about those cold days. Just take me to the boiler room. I can't bring the warm days. Just take me to the boiler room. It's cold outside. No need to freeze. Call Louis the Boiler Man. New York Boiler and AC Repair. Wepa.